Hey guys, so I want to create a series for uh, people that are new to Pega. Uh, I have been doing it for only almost five months and it's been very interesting, uh, but I have faced a lot of challenges and I'm still learning, but I guess that uh, something that I find it hard to find on YouTube is short videos about Pega and how to actually get started learning about Pega and how it works. So I want to make a series where I'm going to uh, be making a very basic application uh, just to get started with uh, learning about Pega and learning the most basic things about Pega so you can start learning on your own about uh, many other uh, more advanced topics. So uh, this first video is going to be uh, how to install uh, Pega. So the first thing that we are going to need is to uh, open our web browser and we are going to search for uh, Pega uh, download. Okay, so this first link, uh, I'm going to leave it at the description of the video. So you will probably need an account, so make one. I already have one, so I'm going to use mine. So here, in support, you can go to download Pega software. So this page will open here. And here in my software, uh, we are going to download the personal edition. So it's going to be over here, uh, Pega personal edition. Uh, we are going to click on download, download now. And it's actually a very heavy download. It's actually about uh, four gigabytes. So we are going to wait for this. So once it is done downloading, you are going to have a file like this one. So we are going to, to right click on it and click on extract, extract here. After that, we are going to get all of these files except this one. So now we are going to click on install button. So it's going to open this terminal and we are going to get a wizard for the installation. So here we are going to go down and click on next. Here we get the prerequisites. Again, we are going to click next. We are going to get the license agreement. We are going to click accept. Here we are going to leave everything as it is and we are going to click on next. Here it is telling us where it is going to be installed. I'm going to leave it as it is here in the C drive. I'm going to click next. Now here we are going to get the port where it is going to be running. I'm going to check the port availability. So it's available. Okay, I'm going to click next. And now it's going to tell me to click start to begin the installation. So this is going to take a while, so let's give it a minute. Okay, so now it's done. It took 30, uh, 13 minutes. Um, so I'm going to click OK and exit. When, when it's done installing, it will create these three files. This startup, this shutdown, and this login. So I'm going to uh, click on startup and it will open again this uh, terminal when, where it will be running this uh, Pega in the background. So right now it's loading, so it, it will take a little while. The first time that you run it on your computer, uh, it will take uh, longer than the second and third time. So let's give it a few seconds. So after a while, we are going to be able to start working with Pega. So it's been around 10 minutes. Um, and now we are going to open it on our web browser. So one of these is called login. So we are going to click on this one and this is going to give us in our uh, web browser uh, the page where we can start working with Pega. Now, we don't have an account yet. So when you install Pega, it actually comes with one account, which is the admin account. So let's enter this information here. And let's click on login. So once it's done loading, you will uh, be landing in this um, in this place, which is Dev Studio. And down here, you can see that this is the your account. So this A over here is your current account, which is the administrator. So before we create an application, we will need to create a developer account. So we are going to click on this button and we are going to go to operator. And here in our workspace, it will open this the information for this uh, administrator operator. So what we are going to do is to make a copy of this account, but with our own information for uh, development purposes. So we are going to use this uh, administrator at pega.com as a template for creating our developer account. So let's wait for this to, to finish loading. So here, uh, this account has a, a lot of information. So what we are going to do is to go over here. We are going to click on Save As. And here we are going to give uh, the name for this account. So you can uh, name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to name it uh, something differently. And I'm going to click on create and open. Okay. 
and now we have our own operator so i'm going to change some information here uh, for example at the first name i'm going to put my name So here in work, uh, we can leave it as it is. In security, I'm going to update a password. And I'm going to click on save. So every time you change something, you actually have to click on this save button. If not, uh, it's like you have done nothing. So now we are ready to create an application. So I'm going to Click here in Pega Platform, New Application. So now we are in this wizard for creating an application. So I'm going to click on Build from Scratch. Between these two types, I'm going to choose the traditional architecture, which is Team Cosmos. So I'm going to select this one. The name for my application is going to be Hotel Booking Application. I'm going to click on advanced configuration. So if I don't, if you don't click on this, it's going to make some random um, application ID and organization name. So I don't want to do that. So what I want to do here is uh, the application ID, I want it to be hotel booking. I want this to be HBI, HBA as hotel booking application. The same here, HBA. Uh, the application is going to be booking and the class group name is, everything else is fine. So I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to click on create application. So now here we can add the users. So I'm going to add the one that I just created. So I'm going to click on add. And it will add this user. Now I can log off and log in as that user. So now here we are, and you can notice that, I mean, if you know Pega, you will know that we are not in our application. So to go to our application, we actually have to go here and click on switch application and go to hotel booking application. So I don't want to do this every time that I log into this user. So we can actually change uh, the default application that we will be landing on. So to do that, I'm going to go down here to operator. And when we open this here in application access, we can set the default one that we want to access. So I'm going to choose this one and I, I'm actually going to delete these other two, which are from the administrator. So I'm going to remove these ones. And uh, now we have to click on save. So now if we log out and log back in, we shall be, uh, we shall be landing in that new application that we just created. So here we have it. We are landing in hotel booking application. And now you can notice that we are actually in App Studio. Before we were in Dev Studio. Uh, that's something that we can also change, but uh, at the very beginning, we are going to be working in App Studio. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, how to install and create an application. In the next video, I'm going to start working on a case type for this application for booking reservations. We're actually going to be working on a few case types, uh, but the main one will be this one for creating reservations. So. What I plan to do on the rest of the videos is to create a, a case type. So the main case type that I will have that I will create is one for making reservations in auto. So this is a rough, rough idea of how it's going to end up as. So we're going to have four stages. The first one is going to be initiate reservation where we're going to select our hotel, select the rooms, and then we're going to present the user with the information. The next stage is for the user to authenticate their self. So they are going to be able to log in or they are going to sign up. So they are going to create an account. Then uh, the, the user is going to have to give additional details about their reservation. So, so they are going to give the information of their guests. They are going to be able to apply any promo codes. They are going to have to give their payment information. And finally, they are going to be presented once again with all of this information about the reservation to confirm it. And the last stage is just to check in. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing how we can uh, create this very basic uh, application, uh, keep on watching. We are going to touch on uh, different di uh, different parts of Pega, uh, and I'm going to try to explain it as I'm new to someone that is also new. So I think this is going to be help helpful for people that are new to Pega.
So thanks for watching. Uh, I will be uploading, uh, I hope, soon. And I will be making a series about this uh, very basic application.